Mardu Mob, it's time to rise up because today we have a good one for you. We're talking about Velomachus lore hold in Mardu. Cue the intro. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel today, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video today. We're talking about Mardu, my absolute favorite color scheme, and we're talking about my favorite card from Strixhaven as well, Velomachus Lorehold. So today is going to be a fun one. Before we dive into it, though, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I just ask if you take one moment to do so. It's a free way to help support the channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll be notified whenever a video goes up, which is three times a week. And uh, if you want to go a step further and support the channel financially, you can become a member of the Mardu Mob by clicking that little join button down below. It'll show you all the extra perks you get, like pack openings and uh, live VODs, things like that. So um, if you don't see the join button, you can hit the link in the description below as well. Anyways, let's dive in, guys, because I really want to talk about this, because Velomach is, like I said, my favorite card from Strixhaven. It's a dragon that allows us to play free instant sorcery speed cards every time it attacks. The beauty of this card... It has haste. Um, it goes seven cards deep into your library to find an instant sorcery speed card that you can cast for free. So gonna need a lot of instant sorcery cards. Uh, what, what else pairs with this really well is uh, adventure cards you're gonna see because as you can see, it's a seven drop. Pretty hefty, hefty toll, right? As far as mana consumption. So we can actually cheat it in here with Luca. So if we have a bunch of uh, adventures, you know, creatures like so, we can actually cast the adventure side of these cards, but we can also use the creatures as uh, fodder for Luca to, you know, transmogrify them into a lore hold. So we can get out a cheap lore hold on turn five instead of turn seven, which is nice. Um, we also have some really great instant sorcery speed spells to go along with Velomachus. We have Shadow's Verdict because it doesn't actually target the lore hold and if we're actually using luca's ability it, it exiles our creature anyway so they won't be on the battlefield so shadow's verdict is a great removal tool we've also got lore hold command does a lot of things i won't read all of them but basically you can gain a lot of life create creatures things like that um and then we also have silver quill command i do have to say that i have a lot of changes to this deck i want to make not a lot but some some key changes to this deck i want to make down uh, after the fact when we get to the end of the video we'll break down what those are but let's just say I like Silver Quill Command. I think it fits in this deck particularly really well. Um, and of course you saw the adventure creatures we play for of, of each of these. Uh, some other cards I really like in the deck are Unleash Fury because it can end a game immediately if you find a couple of these off the top. And if you get a free one on Velomachus, it's a now a 10-10 coming in at your opponent and they didn't see it coming. And then we have Humiliate, another great card that I really like because not only are we going to our opponent's hand uh, to potentially protect our lore hold because if it attacks and we pull the humiliate we get to put the one one counter on the lore hold and we get to get to, uh, to our opponent's hand and potentially take away that kill spell that they're going to use on the, uh, the lore hold the following turn um, and then we have maze mind tome just kind of to get through our deck quickly um, looking for the key parts that we need for this deck to work and we have to claim the firstborn because it's another sorcery speed card we can use uh, with Velomachus, but also Luca can transmogrify that's really why it's in the deck um, and then we have a uh, assortment of lands here as you can see but if you want the full list of the deck down below check the link in the description for the aether hub it'll give you all of the details to the deck but that's it guys we're gonna get into the gameplay footage enjoy the games this was a lot of fun um, and then we'll meet you back here at the end for some final thoughts on how I think we can make this deck even better till next time peace all right here we go we're gonna be playing some mardu for the mardu mob today special shout out to you guys gonna be playing some lore hold um uh, this is not the greatest hand but we're gonna keep it anyways because we have some murderous rider action early which is great murderous rider can keep us alive um up against rakdos though don't like that do not like that. This will be red, and then we're good on white over here, too, so... Feeling okay about this so far. Oh, a little bit of 1-1s. One Don't know what that's about. Do not know what that's about. Might want to shoot some of that down with my Bone Crusher. We'll see. Could be looking at a Cavalcade situation where they deal the damage. Really? Nothing? I should have done this beforehand then. Uh, that's unfortunate. I was going to wait until they maybe tried to pump or tried some trickery at the end there, but they didn't do anything, so... Wow, and we miss... Uh... 
It's a land drop. Okay, well, we'll play the Bone Crusher. Hurting on lands. We took a three land hand. You would think that we would have drawn one by now, but here we are. That unfortunately gains indestructibility, right? So, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, super unfortunate. No good answer because even if we kill the predator with the murderous rider, it's going to have to sack a creature and gain indestructibility. The good news is I can make them tap it on their turn. Plus, if I want to do this now, this is fine too because I can block it. Maybe we can bait them here. Bait them into blocking this, making it indestructible. And then on, uh, on their upkeep, we can kill it. Nope, they don't take the bait. I didn't think they would, but at least we can tap it for one turn. We don't have a good answer for that. That's so unfortunate. We would have been way better off if we would have just been drawing any sort of semblance of land, but here we are. Let's give it a try. Who knows? Maybe they just let it go and they don't even know what it does. <laughs> I've seen weirder things, but nope, here we are. At least we don't lose the murderous rider though. That's nice. Even if we get land at this point, we're so far behind. All right, well, here's our land. Let's do the same thing. Let's just hold up murderous rider. Um, actually, they don't have a creature. What am I saying? What am I saying? They don't have a creature. All right, 13 to 14. We take a lot of damage from our own murderous riders there, so. Off to a rough start. Plum the Forbidden for no creatures. You love to see it. So they are a Racto Sacrifice list then. Uh, let's get a Humiliate on them. I want to see what's going on in that hand of theirs. Claim. Don't care. This spell is Flash as long as you control permanent flash. Destroy tower creature. Alright, we'll take that. That's an easy decision for me there. All right. They could claim it, take a little bit of, uh, yeah, they could target it, take two damage and then, uh, deal me five, but. All right, so now they can actually sacrifice that pest and have me, you know, have my bone crusher killed. They don't do it yet. We'll see. Let's see what they decide to do here. They could just claim it too and then sacrifice. Oh, could they? Could they have maybe sacrificed my bone crusher after they claimed it with this with no target to destroy? I don't know. It's a strange question I'm having here. Uh, let's keep the tome. Because we're about to play this, right? So let's take the Murderous Rider approach. It's life gain, so. And if they claim it, we know they just draw, uh, drew a sack outlet. All right, that's good. That's fine. No attacks. Cool, cool. Perfect. All right, let's do it. Let's do the thing that we like to do. Shadow's Verdict off the top. That would be incredible. Nope, of course not. But we do have this. This does help. Yes, I know. I'm very aware. I'm very aware. All right. I have a feeling for whatever reason I might have missed lethal there, but I'm not sure. Bastion of Remembrance. All right, well, now they can... Well, they could have killed my Lorehold either way. They have some pests that they could sacrifice. But now I'm taking damage because of it. Oh, they claim. Oh, they're going to sack my own thing. Nice. Well done there. Well done. Well, unfortunately for you, you still lose the game because... Oh, no, they killed Luca actually. Ooh. Ooh. 
In that case, Shadow's Verdict. I was going to play the Murderous Rider and minus on the Luka, but it looks like that's not going to be possible. So let's plus Luka here. Now we can minus Luka this turn if we need to. Don't need a Tome on top. We need something that Lorehold can hit, but I'm guessing we won the game, so... I'm just going to take a wild guess here and say that we won the game. Yep, looks like it. GG's! Alright, that went pretty smooth. Took down a Rakdos Sacrifice list too. Not bad. Not bad. Back to uh, tier 2. Yikes, we went way down messing around with too many, too many jank decks. <laughs> Too many jank decks. Not that this one isn't jank. I mean, it is kind of jank, but not really. It has a legitimate win con, legitimate play style, but it does do weird stuff, so I guess you can file it in as jank. Oh, great. Mono red. Just what I wanted to see. Claim the firstborn. No. Nope, not with this hand. Not with any hand, really, I don't think. <clears throat> no other plays, hopefully. I'm looking for Shadow's Verdict here. That's the goal. The question becomes, do I humiliate here to try to stop a potential Annex hitting the board, or do I go for the Tome and try going extremely aggressive for that? Shadow's Verdict and Life Gain. I guess Shadow's Verdict takes care of Annex in the long run, doesn't it? I need that if I'm going to cast a Shadow's Verdict, right? So, I got to leave it. Oh, as much as that hurts me to say, I have to leave that because I need double black, so I do need it. Let's scry here. Lorehold Command, no good. They didn't play anything, actually. Let's see what they got going on here. Oh. What was I worried about? What kind of hand is that? Uh, they do have to sack a creature with this card, huh? Uh, I guess that's... Nah, it's not great. It's not good enough. Not good enough. I'm passing on it. I think we could do better. Of course they top deck the Annex. What else would it have been? Come on now. You know that it had to be the Annex. Alright, well at least we can kill it now. That's good. Alright, let's see if we can bait some sort of upgrade on the Annex here. Maybe they top deck a Rimrock Knight or something. Nope. Nothing, huh? Let me guess, it's another Annex. <laughs> that would be too funny. Oh, it's a land. Beautiful. All right. Shadow's Verdict. Uh, that's... I mean, that's something. I can turn into a Velomachus, right? So, let's play this for red. Stomp out you. Play you. Because you have life gain. They do have claim, but it doesn't really matter. They... I mean, they can steal it for, what, one turn and get a little bit of life. That's cool. But, uh... We are going to turn it into a Velomachus and hopefully find ourselves a Shadow's Verdict and win this game. More land. I don't need that. Okay, apparently I do. Apparently the game knows best. Here we go. No way did we dud. There's no way we hit a dud. Oh no. Unbelievable. How did we hit a dud there? Did we really hit a dud? I can't even imagine. I have to go back and rewatch that for a second. I don't know. I don't know how we, we hit a dud. Crazy. 
I'm just rereading the card here. Spell mana cost less equal to world's power from among them without paying a mana cost, but the rest. Yeah, I could. Hmm. Very, very intriguing. What do they have? They they did top deck something, I'm guessing, pretty decent here. They're kind of holding the cards close to their chest. And it's an instant speed card, it feels like, right? They're holding priority. Okay, it's a Bone Crusher. Nice. Can I get a Shadow's Verdict one time, please? One time. Let's scry to hopefully. There it is. There it is, my friend. See you later. And we will double. Oh, we were going to double the power for 10. GG's. GG's. So I just rewatched it back and I did dud. Holy cow. I hit every single card was a land and then I had one lore hold. Uh, Velimachus. That was crazy. I have so many instant sorcery speed cards in here. I was so shocked that I dudded there. All right. Well, this is something we're up against. Would you know it? Luris of the Dream Den. Couldn't have one video without me, uh, without rogues, right? Got to keep it though because of these and I got a little bit of early action. Oh, it's cycling. It's cycling. Okay, we're in trouble because we can't do anything about that fox till next turn. If we had gone first, this would be a different story, but if they cycle... Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I can kill one of them. And that's what I plan on doing here. Let's kill one of these bad boys here. You gone. Say go. Now we just pray and hope we can get to a Shadow's Verdict before we're dead. But going second does not exactly help us with our cause. Drana Stinger. Okay, they're passing up on a good card there. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. Another Shadow's Verdict. Great card. Terrible, terrible position to be having three Shadow's Verdicts. The shuffler's fine, guys. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the shuffler here. Just mind your business. Let the shuffler do its thing. It's totally fine. Oh, man. At least we get to go into their uh, graveyard and take some nonsense out of it, too, which makes their zenith flare a little smaller. And hopefully we can hit a humiliate so we can steal the zenith flare. Man, I just don't know what to do here. We're so screwed. I mean, it's a it's a body I can play next turn to block the fox one more time. And give me time to play this land, right? I can play this to put the body in front of the fox, play the land, and then the following turn I can finally Shadow's Verdict, but... I'm shocked our opponent here didn't... Uh, cycle on my end step there they had a lot of mana open what are they holding it for i guess they're wanting the zenith flare already i guess is that lethal all right well it is what it is they left the door slightly open i guess i don't know i highly doubt it but we'll see shadows verdict online finally there's the Zenith Flare. Let me guess, he got another one. Yep, unfortunately lost this one to the old Shuffler. Gave us two Velomachuses and three Shadows Verdict. Not even upset at that loss. I didn't even get a chance to play Magic. Good old Shuffler, back at, back at it. Back at the nonsense. Shuffler has not been my friend as of late. Really has not. All right, let's see what we got here. Better hand, please. Oh, of course it's a two lander. You're gonna make me. You're gonna make me gamble on a two lander. No, thank you. I guess that's a little better. Oh man, what do I do here? Velamachus is way too far out to cast. Costs so much. All right, let's see what we get here. Off the top, murderous rider can go. Looking for a Luca. Luca or bust. There's a Luca, nice. And that can stay. That that's that's a pretty good card. It's very versatile. And uh pretty good in 
a lot of situations. All right, let's go this for black here so we can murder its rider. Um, I think I'm just gonna one more turn, one more turn. We'll hard cast it next turn. That way we can get out the Luca the following turn. I may regret not playing that as a creature, but I just don't know what our opponent's on yet. We're waiting to see. And they missed a land drop. Potentially. I don't know. Oh, they did. Wow. Okay. Let's go red here. Let's play the Murderous Rider down as a creature and then hope we top deck a land. That's really, that's what it comes down to. Can we hit a land off the top? That's a lot to ask for. Nope. We are dead. Cool. And that goes back to my library thank goodness all right there's a land but it's not the land we want uh, they get to go into our hand all right cool that's fine let's go with this and let's go with humiliate which card do you think they're gonna take that's the question right i don't know let's just pass the turn let the i want them to have more options than not because i don't know they might make the wrong decision if i narrow it down it might be easier for them let them just take whatever they want here um luca needs to be hidden here i just i really can't have them taking luca it's kind of the main win con let's see if they know that though oh uh, looks like they're getting it oh come on man i really didn't expect them to to know that At least we get to draw a card here, refill, refill that slot. Ooh, Velomach is off the top. That's not bad. And uh, we can make them sack a creature here and we can draw a card. There we go. Another triome though. Not, not what I'm looking for. A fast land would have been good because that would have put us right where we needed for the Velomachus to come down. Opponent still though, sitting on only three lands, so we can't complain too much about the lands. Looks like they're getting the shuffler treatment this game, not us. That's it, all right, fair enough. Wouldn't mind another land off the top here, but a fast land, a, a land that comes in on tapped would be great. Nope, we get the triome treatment. The old Triome treatment. I really don't want to aid in their learn process because if they learn, they're going to definitely grab the uh, environmental sciences so they can gra grab a land. And I want them to stay off land here. So let's play the Bone Crusher. And now we have a Humiliate that if we play, we can actually put a 1 1 counter on something, which is nice. Get full value. Oh, there they go. They're going to get the environmental sciences. Watch. Check it out. Yep, there it is. I knew it. Read like a book. I'd be interested to see if they cast it, though, because they did draw two cards off of it as well, so they probably found what they were looking for. guess we'll find out here in a moment, won't we? Oh, they are playing it. I think I'm going to go ahead and scry here. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to scry here because if it's a really good spell, I'm going to keep it on top, right? Because I want it in my hand. But if it's not a good spell and I put it to the bottom and I end up drawing a good spell, when Velomachus could have just cast it out, right? Could be bad. So, you know, I'm just got to gotta go a little unorthodox this time. I think scrying's bad here. They didn't even attack. Whoops. Been there though. Done that. Unfortunate. They're tapped out. So they got full control on, which is weird. Oh no, they got a discard? Yeah, they got a discard. Never mind. Never mind. Humiliate. Plum, Turgrid, Worm doesn't do much for them. Yeah, you can't have my creature. No, thank you. No, thank you. 
Let me read this card in full here. Gain control of the creature on top of the creature until the turn. Gains haste, and whenever this creature deals damage, destroy target equipment attached to it. Nice. It's not bad. Not bad. But now they don't have any tools here to deal with my Velomachus. I took the only tool out of their hand that could do so. Um, they could have cast this for three and then plumbed for the two. So, yeah, I'm really happy I did that. Good choice. Whoa, Strider. That doesn't help. That's a big shot from Velomachus. If I can just top deck the, uh, you know, double power, then we just win the game here. I can scry here because if I see it on top, I definitely want to keep it there. So don't want that. There it is. Unleash Fury. That's the card I was looking for. Let's do this first. We get the 1-1 one, one counter. So basically counts as two more damage. And uh, Turgrid can go. I, there's no way they can win here. I'm just kind of being a jerk here. I'm not going to lie. There's the scoop, right? Scoop City. Boom. Got him. Took him to Scoop City, baby. We love to see it. We played Velomachus straight up, too. So that felt good. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's put a fork in this thing because it's done. I want to... I want to finish this video out strong for you guys get another win here um i do have some ideas on how to make this deck better already though i really do i think some cards can go and some cards can stay but got a pretty good idea which is which uh this is not good oh come on what a terrible hand here but we do get two scries and we get to go first i'm gonna have to try to make it work unfortunately because it's not bad enough that i can throw it away and hope for something better I do like Silver Quill Command though. It's uh it's been showing up and showing out for us for sure. Luca is part of the tools that we need, right? It's part of the uh, pieces. We're gonna have to draw pretty perfect here. If we're taking the Luca off the top. <sighs> need some don't need that. Need some land. I need uh maybe a, a three drop creature. Just those two things really. Alright, land. I mean that does count as what I just said. It does count. <sighs> Up against Soul Tie makes me nervous. There's a three drop creature. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Let's play it. Let's hope. Let's hope it survives. If it survives, we can get the Luca off next turn if we top deck a land. Everything's got to kind of be perfect here for this to work, but this is what we get for keeping it such a bad hand. We had to though. We really did. I think if we mulligan that, we would have ended up with something much worse. And we get unfortunately screwed because of this. Uh, let's. This is sorcery, so we have to play it at sorcery speed. Let's do this and this. Hopefully a triumph. Or land, any land really, but triumph is fine too. All right, yep. Okay, we got the land. But now our creature's gone. Creatures finito, unfortunately. Thanks to old Baleful Mastery. We did get to draw a card though, which is nice. Alright, let's create oh man, I don't know. We're about to be able to play a uh Velomachus straight up, right? So let's just go ahead and pass the turn here. It sucks that they have instant speed removal. That's really bugging me. Shark Typhoon. I can live with that for a turn. That means we get one Velomachus for free. How do we want to do this? This and this? Get some more damage through? Yeah, let's try to get some more damage through before they can do anything about it this next turn. Velomachus and get some serious damage in here. Humiliate. Love it. Oh, yes. Uh, you can go. There we go. Not much they can do now. Not much our opponent can do now. They can hard cast their other Shark Typhoon. The Crippling Fear does nothing. I guess if you back to back them, but you don't have enough mana to do that. So, uh, yeah, Shark Typhoon hard cast creates a 6 6 flyer. But, I mean, we're still getting three damage through, and I'm going to double up potentially. We've got options. Gonna get a free spell too. 
And if it's the uh, old Silver Quill command, you lost. If it's the old Lore Hole command, they lost. We've got a really good spot we're in here. We got a lot of options. But hard casting that Shark Typhoon seems like the right play for them. It's their only play. Tome, that can go to the bottom. I want to up my chances here of actually drawing something relevant. Nice. Let's win it like this. Let's do this. This. Creatures you control get one oh haste, okay? I'm so confused. Creatures you control get 1-0. Yeah, okay, so the three damage. Okay. I, I don't know why they made that so confusing. I don't know why they made that so confusing. The way that they word these uh these commands, man, when you have like multiple options and the way you have to do the triggers. I don't know why that annoys me. It's not exactly super, super clean. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that win was pretty clean. We'll take it. GG. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay footage. Let's go ahead and break this thing down for just a few minutes here. I want to explain to you guys what I think could be better. Um, well, the idea behind the claim the firstborn was great. Uh, having a splash of these in here for the Luka is a really decent idea on paper, but it didn't actually pan out too often. I didn't see too many times where it made sense to cast. And so instead, uh, what I'm going to do is it, I'm going to tell you guys you should probably take this out. I would put in two more Silver Quill commands. And the reason being is because Silver Quill command, the ability to sacrifice a, a, a creature on your opponent's side is huge because removal tools in this deck are few and far between. Uh, we have ways to obviously burn our opponent's creatures. We do have four murderous riders, but that's not enough to get the job done sometimes. So making your opponent sacrifice a creature is huge. But not only that, giving 3-3 three, three and flying to a creature can really, really help, uh, you know, in certain situations. Um, we had a few games where we could put it on the murderous rider and it really gave us a big bump in life gain. Uh, I love this card. I think it's I think it's very, very clutch. It can draw us a card really enjoyed it so i think cutting two of these adding two of those and then maybe fixing uh fixing the land up a little bit better we have we probably should stop running these triumphs uh, or these temples i mean these temples are a little slow um and a lot of times we want to hit that velomachus on turn seven and we're drawing into tap land it's not good so we can fix up the mana and then you know make that little change there i think we've got something here um the tome doesn't exactly synergize or fit in this deck but there's not a whole lot of really good card draw in red white or black um, that makes sense in the deck for me um, if you guys think of anything though to help make the deck any better please let me know in the uh, comments down below i'd love to hear your thoughts on the deck and how you how you thought about it um but that's gonna do it that's gonna do it for my final analysis and breakdown and want to give you guys all who made it here to the end of the video a huge shout out and thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping support the channel and making it this far it does help the algorithm and pushing the video out to more people so thank you so much for sticking around and then uh, a huge special 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 thank you and shout out to our marty mob members thank you all so much for being part of the community and helping me you know grow this channel financially one day <laughs> this is going to be the dream so hopefully you know we can go full time someday for you guys and that does help us get closer so thank you so much really appreciate that and uh we'll see you guys tonight for the live stream yeah. peace Hit him three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah. MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks to the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah, it's